We begin with Earth's spin axis oriented at a right angle to the Earth's orbit plane around the Sun. If this were true, day and night would always be equally long and we would not have seasons. We zoom in to see the real tilt of Earth's spin axis, which is 23.5 degrees from perpendicular to the Earth-Sun plane. This tilt is what gives us seasons. To better see why, let's view the Earth-Sun plane from a different perspective. We begin with the summer solstice, when Earth's north pole is tilted toward the Sun. Zooming in on our planet, we see that sunlight strikes the northern hemisphere more directly, making the day length there longer. This is the longest day in the northern hemisphere's summer. After Earth moves along its orbit over the next three months, we reach the autumnal equinox, a date when day and night length is the same. This is because Earth's spin axis is not pointed either toward or away from the Sun. This is shown in the side view where the sunlight strikes the equator directly and the poles equally. Around December 21st, we reach the winter solstice. At this time, the south pole is tilted toward the sun. Sunlight strikes the southern hemisphere more directly, making this their summer season. This corresponds to the shortest day in the northern hemisphere's winter. Three months later, we reach the vernal equinox, the other date during the year when day and night length are equal. We complete our year-long circuit around the sun with the begin of another season.